Hi friends, welcome to Azure Content. So this is part 27 in Azure Data Factory real-time scenarios playlist. And in this video, we are going to learn how to get an email notifications for the pipeline failures by creating an alert rule within Azure Data Factory. So let's see everything in details. So our motto is to create an alert rule within Azure Data Factory in order to monitor our pipelines and in order to get the uh, email notification in case of pipeline failures. Okay. So we already know that in case you have lots of pipelines in your project, then it will be a hectic job to monitor each of the pipelines manually. So manual approach to monitor the pipeline are inefficient and time consuming as well. So to avoid all the manual efforts, Data Factory has given us the ability to monitor the pipelines using alert rules. Okay, so we have already achieved the same thing using log analytics in our previous video. So this is another way of doing the same thing. So creating the alerts will ensure that 24 by 7, we will be able to monitor our data pipelines and the alert will make sure that we are notified of all the issues before they actually arrive. That means before they actually affect our workflow, we have to take an action based on the alerts. Okay. So let's see everything practically. So let me go to Azure portal. So earlier we had created a log analytics workspace and we had created diagnostic settings inside Azure monitor, right? So if you go through the previous video, that is part 26, you will get to know how we created the alert rules using Azure monitors and log analytics workspace. Okay, so we had created the diagnostic settings for ADF and we had created log analytics workspace and we had uh, enabled the alerts here. Okay, so now in this video, we will try the alternate approach of achieving the same thing using Azure data factory workspace itself. Okay, so within the workspace, if you go to the monitor section, so you can see the details of all the triggered pipelines. Okay. And similarly, we can see the debug pipeline runs as well. Okay. So if I change the filter for last seven days, so you can see these are the details. Okay. So now here in the notification section, you can see there's something called alerts and metrics. So if I go inside this, you can see here we have an option to create new alert rule. What it will do is it will directly go to the Azure monitor section and behind the scenes it will create the new alert rule here okay and according to the configuration that we provide here it will run the kql that is kusta query inside the logs here okay in the monitors so we don't need to actually run the queries here manually instead what we can do is we can just configure the alert rules and behind the scenes it will create the query by itself and it will run it in the azure monitors and you can provide the description here. It is optional because you can see the star mark is missing here. And here we have to provide the severity of the alert. Okay. So for some pipelines, you can create an alert for CEV0. That means it needs severe attention. So you can configure the severity accordingly. And here we need to add the criteria. So if I click on that, so you can see all these metrics are present that are predefined. So it has some queries that it will run behind the scenes. That is nothing but Kusto query. Okay. So here we will search for uh, failed pipeline runs. Okay. So we will go with this failed pipeline run metrics. And if I click on continue, so it is trying to fetch the historical runs for last six hours, last 12 hours or last 24 hours. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead with last 24 hours. So I do not have any pipeline runs executed for last 24 hours. So we will run it after creation of this alert rules. And then here we need to select the pipelines for which you want to get the alerts. Okay. So you can set it for a particular pipeline or you can set for all the pipelines. So I'm going to set for all the pipelines, whichever pipeline fails, I'm going to get the email notification. Okay. And then in the failure type, we can select either user error or system error or bad gateway. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead with all the uh, failure types. And after that, here we have to apply the alert logic. That means you have to set the condition when you want to get the email notification. If it is greater than zero, that means uh, if there is at least one pipeline failure, you will get the email notification. Okay. So I'm good with zero. Uh, if it is at least one pipeline failure, I'm going to get the email notification. 
and then we have to set the frequency at which Azure Monitor will run the query to check if there is any pipeline failure or not. So by default, it is every one minute it will check. We can increase it according to our need. So every 30 minutes, you can see if there is any pipeline failure, we can get the uh, number of uh, failures or all the details in batches. Okay, so I'm good with one minute for now. Uh, so here, let me add the criteria. And now here you have to configure the notification, how you want to get the notification, either via email or SMS, or you want to uh, have the voice notification. Okay, so here you can configure the same. And here you need to create the action group. Uh, in our previous video also, we have created the action group, but I'm going to create a new one. So I'll write the name as Anu AG1. Okay, and uh, I can give the same short name. And then we need to add notification. So here we need to give the action name, let it be new action. And then we need to choose if it is email notification, then we need to provide the email ID. So I'm going to give the email ID and we are good so i don't want sms or uh, voice notification so i'm good i'm going to add the notification here and then let's add the action group so let's wait yeah so now we are good to create the alert rule let's click on that so now our alert rule will be created let's wait yeah so you can see our new alert is ready and it is enabled uh, for 51 resources that means 51 pipelines so if i go on monitor tab uh, now here you can see there is alert tab so if there will be any pipeline failure and if an alert will be fired it will be appearing here okay so the new alert rule that we have created with the name as new alert should be appearing automatically inside the monitors in this alert rule uh, section okay so let's hit on that so you can see the same alert rule that we have created inside adf is appearing in the azure monitors okay and it has the same configuration as well okay so uh, now what we will do is we will explicitly fail our pipeline so that we will be able to receive the email notification once the alert will be fired so let me go to the author tab and let me go to this pipeline which we have created to explicitly fail okay so if i trigger this it should fail let's wait let me go to the pipeline run and let's wait so you can see the pipeline has failed okay let me go back and see in the triggered section let me go to last 24 hours so you can see it has failed let's go to the monitors here and let's wait for the alert to be fired we are expecting after one pipeline failure uh, the alert should be fired so let's wait for a couple of minutes. So now let me hit on refresh. Yeah, so you can see the alert has already been fired and the alert name is new alert. Okay, so let me go to Outlook and here uh, in the others tab, we can see there is two new emails. Okay, so the first one is because we have been added to the action group and this is the latest one that we just received because of the pipeline failure. Okay, so if I open this, so you can see all the details so it is showing the rule id okay so this is the uh, alert rule that has triggered the email and the resource group details and then it is showing why this alert got fired uh, okay so it is showing the metrics name because the pipeline had failed and these are the metrics okay so this is the pipeline name which has failed and the failure type is user error okay so these are all the configuration that we had set. If the pipeline uh, failure is more than zero, uh, that means greater than zero, then we will receive uh, an email alert. Okay, so we are good. We are able to achieve configuring the email alert using alert rules within Azure Data Factory. Okay, so this was our motto and we have achieved it successfully. You can create your own alert rules according to the requirement. And with this approach, there is no need to write and execute any query in order to monitor the pipeline and to get the email notification. So that's it for this video, guys. I hope you find this video helpful. Uh, please hit on like button and please subscribe to my channel if you haven't done it yet. Thank you.